Hello guys, Windows XP here. Today, I will be doing a review of my daily and personal phone, the iPhone 5S. The iPhone 5S has an A7 chip. The A7 chip is actually very fast and very powerful. It's just the that preceded the, I the iPhone 6 with the A8 processor. The iPhone 5S can upgrade all the way to iOS 10.0.2, and right now, this phone has iOS 9.3.5. iOS 9.3.5 is actually very fast on this machine. The iPhone 5S also has Touch ID, so whenever you do your fingerprint, you can use the fingerprint sensor and unlock your phone. Now keep in mind, I'm recording with an iPhone 4S. So the quality may not be perfect, but here we go. The iPhone 5S is very, very good at uh, doing modern day tasks and do everything it was meant to do. It is a 2013 phone, which means it was designed to run iOS 7. As you can tell, iOS 7 and iOS 9 look very closely related. Um, so iOS 7 was released back in 2013 and really ditched the uh, skeuomorphic design and replaced it with this flat design that pretty much iOS 9 looks like today. Um, so, how can... So, what is this phone capable of today? It's capable of video recording. Video recording is a very good thing on this phone. You can get slow-mo on this phone. You can get all sorts of cool features. Um, about the only phone... I mean, the only feature that was taken out um, from iOS 10 betas were... Uh, the dual shot, I think is what it was called. It's where uh, it can focus, but that's because the iPhone 7 had two cameras. So, and the camera... So, the iPhone 5S was designed to run iOS 7. iOS 7 looks very closely related to iOS 9, as you can tell, and um, works very well. As you can see, it has Touch ID. Touch ID is a very good feature released back in when this phone was brand new. Touch ID is a very good... Um, way to unlock your phone. It's secure, it's quick, and it's easy. Um, as you can see, I have not updated it to iOS 10. Well, actually, I have updated it to iOS 10, but I restored it to 9.3.5 since I hated iOS 10, especially on such a small phone like this. So, the battery life is okay. It, it'll it get you through a full day of um, charge. It, it'll get you a full day of um, usage. But the full day of usage is pretty moderate. It's not like heavy usage such as the um, Galaxy S7 or even the 6 in by today's standards. So, um, decided to remove my passcode so we can get into it. So, YouTube Playback. YouTube, pl it, this thing is a very awesome YouTube device. Does YouTube like nothing uh, like most Apple products would with the foreign screen? Um, since this was designed to run iOS 7, it runs iOS 9.3.5 very easily, very well. It it's very nice. This has this also uh, comparatively to even the 4S. This has a um, tr translucent design, and uh, the control center has night shift, as you can tell. Uh, hold on. So whenever we uh, so this is the timer. This is the app switcher. I'm looking through a camera right now. I'm sorry. Um, and this thing is very good built, um, but also this is coming from the guy with an OtterBox. Um, but this device is very well built. It was known for having a little bit of trouble with, um, cracking and stuff, but, uh, it does it pretty well. Um, now, how do apps open? Apps open relatively quickly. As you can see, it takes a moment to load our notes, um, and that was our only uh, notes here. Um, and we can run... Let's try to run App Store. So it run, It opens a lot faster than older devices. Even faster than the 5. So the 5 had the A6 processor. Pretty slow, but still useful. Um, also, the 5S is a very, very awesome uh, video recording device. It's a very awesome regular usage such as calendar and planning stuff like that um so it's good for for any uh light user now for the medium users um the iPhone 5S is 
relatively good. Um, it can game a little bit. It can casually game at least. I have almost no games on here since that's when since I've resorted pretty recently. But um, I'll go ahead and download a game in a little bit and show you how a casual game such as a uh, catch app game. Uh, I'll put their link in the description below. Stuff like that. It does it fine. Um, but as for heavy gaming such as Minecraft, I know that may sound like it's not that heavy, but it kind of is on uh, Apple products and mobile devices. It can run Minecraft really well, um, and that's the only, he quote, heavy game I've ever played on here. So, so let's go ahead and shut this thing down and uh, see how fast this thing boots up. So we had no apps running in the background. Um, we cleared out all the apps. We have only a few services running, so let's go ahead and let this thing up. Oh, looks like it shut down. We're going to go ahead and turn on the device. I'm going to show it to you in real time. So, it's got quite a bright screen. It's got the uh, white over black Apple logo. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, but while we're doing this, I would like to tell you about the uh, problems of the Apple uh, iPhone 5S. Um, there was a screen problem in which... I mean, a logic board problem, I'm sorry, where the screen would turn blue, it would be like this, quote, blue screen, there we go, so it's a pretty quick booter, um, about, I, if I had to say, probably about 20 seconds, so, really good on iOS 9, iOS 9's a very, very good phone, um, settings, we can verify that we have iOS 9, if, by, telling by the update, go into about, as you can see, we have iOS 9.3.5. Um, now I only have the 16 gigabyte model, that is kind of a, uh, low point for, uh, storage, but as you can see, still working pretty fine, it, considering I record videos a lot, and I have a lot of photos stored on here. Now, the iOS 10 update, um, at least for me, it was really slow, it was really glitchy, it didn't work very well, I don't know if that was because I didn't, if I did that over the air or what. But the iPhone 5S was pretty slow when it came to iOS 10. So, Spotlight Search does everything it's supposed to. I mean, it's a good phone. Um, I got it back in 2013 for my 13th birthday. I love this phone, by the way. Um, I'm usually kind of an Apple hater, hater but this phone, I, if I had to say, the 4S and the 5S were probably the best iPhones made by Apple. 5S topping that off. Um, beautiful design, beautiful cameras, beautiful everything. So, that will about quit this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you for watching. One more thing. I'd like to uh, show you what the sound sounds like on a uh, iPhone 5S. It's a pretty good speaker. It sounds kind of tinny, but that's pretty normal for a uh, iPhone. Let's go ahead and... So, sounds pretty good, um, can sound kind of tinny at times, but uh, my speakers had almost no problems. So, thank you for watching.